Jim in St. Louis, Missouri writes to me and he says, Paul, why do most tube amplifiers need those large, heavy transformers on them? Thanks for all you do, Jim in St. Louis. Well, that's short and sweet and to the point. <laughs> There's a fairly simple reason that tube, vacuum tube power amplifiers have big output transformers, and that is because vacuum tubes generally have fairly high output impedance, unlike a solid state device that is easily designed to drive low impedance loads. So we know that a loudspeaker is a low impedance load, relatively speaking. It's four ohms maybe or eight ohms, could be drop down as low as one ohm, but it's a fairly low impedance device and it takes watts to, to drive it. So vacuum tubes are voltage amplification devices. They take voltage in, they do a wonderful job of amplifying that voltage, and they put a higher voltage out. And they can put out quite a bit, and they can put out power, but they don't like a low impedance. They, th there is a type called an output transformerless design. The, I think the acronym for that is OTL. <clears throat> and there are several of them like that, and they use a whole bunch of vacuum tubes designed in a different way. But generally speaking, vacuum tube power amplifiers use power output tubes that need a impedance matching device. And that is a transformer. That's what it does. It gives the tube a high, relatively high input impedance that it can play into, and then using its magnetic fields to energize the secondary of the coil. You got a primary, which is hooked up to the vacuum tube, and that gener as the vacuum tube goes up and down in voltage, it generates a magnetic field. That magnetic field is then captured in the coil right next, wound very tightly around the first coil, and that generates a voltage, but the ratio between the input winding and the output winding is such that the output could drive a 4 ohm load or an 8 ohm load, and the input is maybe a thousand, a thousand ohms. Let's just call it a thousand ohms. So higher impedance in, low impedance out. It's the way a vacuum tube is matched to a speaker. Now in a solid state device, we don't have that problem. Solid state devices are actually current based amplifiers where a vacuum tube is a voltage-based amplifier. So that's kind of the difference between the two. Even though both of them, vacuum tubes, can do current and solid state can do voltage, one specializes in that and the other specializes in that and the other. And that's why we need um, uh, output transformers on the uh, output of a vacuum tube amplifier. Okay, hope that helped you understand that. Thanks.